Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss another topic of plasma physics, that is equation of continuity. So let's start. Let us consider a system of plasma. So this represents this box represents yeah. a system a system of plasma. It contains total n number of particles. Suppose n be the total number of particles. And V be the volume of the system. Suppose n be the number density of plasma or you can say simply plasma density or number of particles number of particles per unit volume per unit volume so let us assume that uh, suppose we have a small volume element let us take a small volume element here suppose dv sorry let me draw it properly suppose we have taken a small volume unit of volume dv this is a small volume unit very small volume unit dv so its dimensions you can assume that its dimensions to be dx dy dz so that dv is equal to dx dy dz now if number of density uh, sorry number of particles per unit volume is n then this small volume of this small volume element will contain how many particles n into db so number of particles so number of particles in the volume element dv is given by n into dv now total number of particles can be obtained by integrating this integrating it over the volume b so total number of particles n is given by volume integral of n dv this is suppose equation number 1 now let us assume that some particles are going out of this system with average velocity u with average velocity u then the rate of change of number of particles rate of change of number of particles with time so let me scroll up the page yes let us keep it here is given by del n del t is equal to minus volume integral of del del t of n d v so you may think why it is negative this is negative because this represents this negative uh, neg sorry this negative sign represents decrease in particles number of particles as number of particles going out okay now you see 
dv means dx dy dz and volume integral can be represented by this triple integral so for three different components x y z so if you integrate the x component if you integrate the x component you will get x then sorry you will get x so let me write here b sorry not this one and you will get the, uh, so first before integrating let me write this one as n you can write db as dx into ds that means suppose this is the small volume element and its dimensions are dx dy dz and this ds represents this surface ds is nothing but it is equal to dy dz okay now integration of dx gives x integration of dx gives x and with the with the del del t we will get this is now it is no longer volume integral after integrating x component so it will be surface integral now n del del t of x ds so hope you have understood this step and we know that del x by del t is the volume sorry not volume velocity this is the velocity we have considered u okay so some particles are going out of the system with average velocity u then we will get surface integral n u d v So this is the rate of change of total number of particles, or rate of change of particles. So this is suppose equation number three. This is suppose equation number, sorry, not three, two. Let me consider as uh, this is equation number two. Now let us apply the Gauss divergence theorem. Let me scroll up the page. By Gauss. divergence theorem we have already got this uh, we we should know the gauss divergence theorem here surface integral of f ds is given by volume integral divergence of f dv so this was the gauss divergence theorem if you apply this then you will get del n by del t is equal to minus volume integral divergence of n into u del v so here we have applied gauss divergence theorem so let us take this is as equation number 3 now you see so what was the equation number 1 So this is the equation number one. So let me use this equation number one in three. So let me write here again the equation uh, number one. That was n is equal to volume integral small n dv. This is the first equation. This is this is the equation number one. Let me use this value of n here using in three. We will get. now uh, using using equation 1 in equation 3 we get del del t of volume integral n dv is equal to minus volume divergence of n u dv so Here you see we can re we can also remove the volume integral from both sides. Then what we will get? 
del n del t is equal to minus divergence n into u and let us bring this term here to this side left side then we will get del n by del t plus divergence of n into u and is equal to 0 and this is the required equation this is the equation of continuity so let me take the red color so this is the equation of continuity hope you have understood this topic and if you like my videos please share my videos and help me to grow my channel subscribe the channel if you are new thank you for watching